So the first squad in Group A for the Olympics is um, France, and this is this is a squad that's led by its overage players. Um, two of them are from Tigres, who just made it to the Club World Cup final where they lost to Bayern Munich. Uh, we've got Andre Pierre Gignac, who has been key for Tigres' success. We've got um, uh, Tetchi um, Sapinier from Mont Montpellier, and we've also got Florian Thoffin from also from Tigres. Outside of that, it's mostly just players from um, the French Ligue 1, and I don't really recognize anyone else. As far as how they were able to qualify, they qualified by getting second um, in a group that included Romania, England, and Croatia in the UEFA European Under-21 Championships. So the second team is Japan, and leading them we've got Meya Yoshida, the, the captain from Sampdoria. Another player we've got, um, Wataru Endo from um, VFB Stuttgart, and um, and another um, overage player we've got um, Hiroki Sakai um, from um, Irawa Red Diamonds. Most of the other players are from the J League, and I don't really recognize them. But yeah, definitely keep an eye out for um, Meya Yoshida from Sandoria. Now, another team that I'm very interested in in this Olympics is Mexico, and they took a lot of players to this Olympics that they could have taken to the Gold Cup. The big player here is Diego Linus from Real Betis. He is the only player on his Mexican Olympic squad that isn't um, playing in Liga Mekis, but there are plenty of other um, good players. We've got a Cho Choa and Goal from Club America, um, Alessis Vega from um, um, Guadalajara, we've got um, uh, Jorge Sanchez also from um, America. I've also been very interested in seeing Luis Malagón in goal. I hope he, he gets a few games from Nacaxa. We've got Henry Martin also from America. Overall, this is like with this is a very good squad that the Mexican Federation put out. Probably a solid B team, and it'll be interesting to see how far they go. And I'm really looking forward to that France Mexico matchup. So the last squad we have is South Africa, and their overage players. We got Ronwyn Williams and goal from Supersport United. We've got um, actually just looking at their squad. I think that's the only overage player they have. A lot of the other players are from the South African league. We've got um, Thabo Sele from from the Portuguese league. Um, We've got um, Terashos uh, Malape from the Ukrainian League, but other than that, it's mostly just players from the South African League, and I just don't see enough quality in the side for them to compete in this group. So um, it'll be interesting to see if they, they'll do well against um, tougher opponents. As far as my predictions for this group, in fourth place, I'm going to go with South Africa. Like I said, I don't see enough quality in this side, and the South African League isn't really the, the biggest league in the world at all, so I'm going to go with South Africa in last place. Um, in third place, I'm going to go with the host Japan. They do have um, a lot um, some quality with players playing in, uh, in the likes of uh, Sampdoria, Stuttgart, um, and... and and I really have liked what I've seen from them as of late. So I'm going to go with Japan in third. Now to qualify for the knockout rounds, we've got France and Mexico. I'm going to put France in second and Mexico in first. I feel like Mexico may surprise some people here and maybe win another Olympic title like they did um, a few Olympics back. And I'm really going to be looking at Diego Linus to lead the squad with his fast pace and energy. And there are plenty of um, quality players on his Mexican side. I'm going to go with Mexican first. And also expect a big tournament from Andre Pierre Gignac for France. But I am going to go with France in second.